position lights, strobes, headlight, interior, beacons, and let's fly. This is a modified Goose Sky E2, the Bell UH-1Y Venom Super Huey. And yes, the main modification is that she has got lights. How I assembled them in is an interesting story, but this video is not focusing on that. I think it's much more interesting how I can control these lights, because they can be controlled from the transmitter. All one by one. Stay with me and I'll show you what else we can do with this scale light controller in a scale model. Let it be an RC airplane or a helicopter. And if you want to know more about installing LED lights into this helicopter, let me know in the comments. If it was interesting enough, I can make a video about that as well. But now, the Lightray HRC2 system. The module can control nine light channels in five groups, and this is happening via one single RC channel from a conventional receiver or one or more associated channels from an SBUS receiver. I can turn the position lights on and off. The strokes. I can turn the engine beacons on and off. This is mixed with the motor switch in my case. So these lights will turn on when the motor is on and will turn off when the motor is completely off. I can control the headlight. and the interior light as well, or from the transmitter with one single channel. And if I want, I can switch between the flash patterns. Three flashes, one flash. And if you don't like the beacon this way because it's too slow, then a small configuration And now it's much quicker. Or I need five flashes instead of three uh, with a bit slower speed. I can do that too. This is how it looks now. I like the headlight fading off slowly and heating up slowly as well. Let's change the configuration. Here it is. I want the position light switching off with a delay. Half a second delay. And it's not so good when I switch the motor off. The beacons shut down immediately whilst the rotor is still spinning. Let's add some delay for the switch off. I know 15 seconds should be enough. Now let's set 10.
Let's test it. Much better. And I didn't show you yet, but I can replace the behavior of these lights. Like, let's flash the beacons. Now, they are also flashing. Okay, I don't like this, so let's revert this back. Better. And this is just one demo. I can configure the switches, their dependencies, and so on. There can be multiple settings for each light stored in more banks. And let's not forget that these lights are not running from the BC circuit. They are powered by their dedicated power line, so even much brighter and bigger LEDs can be used for your model. Or like in this case, the BC circuit would not be enough. Even for these small LEDs, the system is still perfectly stable and safe. Do you like this so far? Then hit the like and subscribe to the channel because this is not everything yet. I have to admit that changing the configuration via the USB cable is inconvenient. Just this system here is the first prototype. The production version is being developed now. It's very close to the feature complete state, but it's still changing. So yes, the production version will have a wireless connection. And this config file editing won't be necessary either. The mobile application will be much easier. And you can control your lights from your mobile as well, or with these buttons. So there are more ways to use the Lightray HRC2. Would you like your own one? Let us know then, because the production volume will depend on the interest. Until the next video about the Lightray HRC2 system, you can watch this video about the Guzka E2. Thanks for dropping in. See you in the next one.